Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing you God's truth today. Now, we are in a new week. You see, as the month is rounding off, you know, we, 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 are, we are getting towards the end of the month of November, and then we're going to get into December. I wonder what's going through your mind. You know, someone will be sitting there and say, oh, have I achieved anything this year? Now, you know, this, this, this has been an unusual year, <laughs> praise God. Now, when I mean unusual year, not just because of the pandemic, but see, the pandemic created opportunities for a lot of things. So it depends on where you belong or it depends on how you saw things or how you still see things. You know, so why some are saying, ah, man, this year was tough, this year was bad. Yes, but there are some people who are like, I discovered something new this year. I heard God's voice in a new way this year. Praise God. So, so just like when the scripture says, when, when men say there's a casting down, we say there's a lifting up. It's not just a confessional statement. It's the truth. Praise God. So, listen. God is doing a preparation in our lives between now and the end of the year. And I'm telling you the truth. Next year is going to begin, that's 2021, is going to begin a new kind of program with the Lord that is going to span for 10 years. Now listen, this is, this is, this is something you need to understand. Now when, when we speak like this, the best thing you can do is to take these words and go pray about them. I say, Lord, I, I heard this preacher talking about 10 years. What is it about? That's how to respond as a believer. You, you hear words spoken and then you're like, okay, thank you for the information. Because that's an information I'm giving to you. Is it because you didn't hear it from the Lord yourself is an information coming to you. So what do you do with the information? Go to the Lord. And say, Lord, that preacher was talking about 10 years. What's on your mind? Is there something I'm missing? See, you as an individual, you would never know everything. But you see, why we, why we fellowship together, this is what fellowship does. I come up with something. Now, the fact that I came up with it doesn't mean it's established in you. How it's established in you is when you take that information. Someone can say something to you in passing, but they say it becomes the information you need for the next phase of your life. You understand what I'm saying? Not that the person say, thus says the Lord to you. The person will just say something in passing, but you heard it. You see, and then it opens up a new chapter to you. Now, that can only happen when you walk by the Spirit of God and when you have ears that hear. So, I'm, I'm telling you now that next year, 2021, is going to open up a new program with God for His children that is going to span 10 years. Now, that's what I heard the Lord say. So, the next 10 years are too crucial, too crucial to the work of God on the earth. You're going to be seeing lots of amazing things happen. But you see, listen, God is the one in charge. And if you are on his side, if you hear his voice, happy are you. That's why we've been talking about spending time to hear the voice of God, spending time to understand what the mind of God is, to understand what God is saying. If you don't hear the voice of God for yourself, now what do I mean hear the voice of If you are not aware that God speaks to you, if you don't have that confidence, then listen, you are getting into a trouble time. As a child of God, this is what God wants for you, that you hear his voice voice. Praise God. Now that's why I've been talking to you about faith and faith for living. See, we live by faith. The Bible said the just shall live by faith. The Bible said for without faith it's impossible to please God. You're a child of God. You are not taking faith seriously then you are not serious with your life. Faith is the only thing that pleases God. Now this week we're going to take it a step further. And like I told you last week, we, we dealt with believing. And we're going to continue from that and then go deeper into how your believing affects your faith. Can we pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, utterance is being given for your children right now. 
and we submit ourselves to your will, to your purpose, and to that which you have ordained for this day. Holy Spirit, Jesus said you will guide us into all truth. And today you will not fall short, and we too will not fall short of following your guidance. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, while we're praying, I, I just, the Spirit of God showed me someone with a, with a hearing problem. Now, that ear, one of your ears um, ha have a problem. There's, there's something blocking one of your ears. So right now, if you can put your hand inside that ear, just your finger in that ear, I speak to that thing right now and I command it to dissolve and leave you. Let your ears be opened now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed. Start hearing normally. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now in five minutes or after five minutes, you can go wash that ear and, you know, just check it and see God have done something in your life. Praise God. Now when this Spirit of God shows something like this, it is true. He's doing it. Now let's go in. Praise God. Now, we, we read from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 where it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to God must believe that God is. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Now, last week, I, I was explaining what that means to you. And, and thank you for the feedback. I got lots of testimonies. You know, People sending me messages that, wow, I've never seen faith expressed like this before. I've never seen it taught. You know, I've never understood. You know, I've been born again for so long. Thank you for all those messages. You see... It's good to know that what we are doing is getting across to you. It's good to know. Praise God. Now, we know we are blessing lots and lots of people. But when we get feedbacks like that, it's an encouragement, you know, to us to keep, keep going for that. Praise God. So wherever you're listening, through the radio, through um, social media, YouTube, wherever, it, it'll be good if you just let us know what these teachings are doing in your life praise god and also we thank those of you who who hear the voice of god to support us financially thank you thank you i get calls from the people say why don't you put your account number if someone wants to sow a seed or if someone wants to do something and we i have not felt led to do that sincerely speaking i haven't because I believe something. If, if, if God is speaking to someone, you will reach out to us and say, Oh, the Lord ministered to me that I should send you or send, send this for this or whatever he tells you to do. You will reach out to us. Praise God. Not because we're trying to make things difficult. We just want to be sure that um, God is ordering it. So for now, if the Lord commands us to put our account details, we will do, of course. But, but he has not. So we don't want to do because someone say that is what people are doing. Now that's very, very important to, to, to us that we walk closely with, by the command of God. I hope you understand that. So if the Lord have ministered to your heart to send us an offering, send us your tithe, whatever it is that the Lord commands you to do, reach out to us. Our numbers are there, either social media or phone number. Reach out to us and, and we'll let you know how to get that across to so, you praise God. All right, so he says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Why? I told you something last week. God rewards those who diligently seek him. And how does he reward them? He rewards them by giving them his word. Now, when his word comes, faith has come. See, Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I put it this way, and this is the truth about that scripture. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of God. See, hearing the voice of God or hearing the word of God. So whatever you call it, you know, someone say, oh, the voice of God spoke to me. Or someone say, the word of the Lord came to me. See, whatever it is, you just know that the word of God has come. Is God. And when it comes, that is when faith 
has come. So what do you do? You take that word and you hold on to it. It is your faith and it will never fail. It will produce the result that it requires or you require of it. Praise God. So now this week I'm going to be dealing with believing and, and, and how, how that works. So let's go to Romans. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. Romans 10 and verse 10. Now he says, For with the heart. Now this is a statement. And it's a statement of truth. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. But look at what it says. Where do you believe? With the heart. You believe with your heart. And then you confess with your mouth. Now, what do you confess with your mouth? You only confess when faith has come. So what do you confess? You know, notice the word he used. He used the word confess. Now, what do you confess? Now, confession doesn't mean, oh, are you the one that stole it? it? Yes, let me confess now. It's me. <laughs> That's not just what confession is all about. Confession means saying the same thing with God. Say confession in the gospel. Confession in Christ. It means saying the same thing with God. Now, why is it called confession? Because God said it. I say it also. My saying it also is getting myself in agreement with God. Now, when God spoke it, nobody heard. You know what I mean by nobody heard? Not with the ears. You, you, you know, God will speak here and everybody will say, oh, wait, oh. did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, yes. He, he can. See, one time Jesus was with the, with, 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 with the crowd. And then Jesus prayed. And when Jesus finished praying, suddenly there was a sound, physical sound. And the Bible says some people said, wow, it thundered. But then they look at the weather. Nothing concerns rain with that weather at that time. So someone said, no, 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 that's not a usual thunder. I think an angel spoke to him. <laughs> but what did Jesus say? Jesus said, hey, guys, this voice came because of you, not because of me. So Jesus acknowledged that what they physically heard was not thunder. Now to their ears, they heard thunder. You know how it thunders. But God actually spoke. So, so God can speak out that loud. You understand what I'm saying? But then now he says, with, so, so when we confess, we are saying what God has said. And while we, are, while we saying it, we are saying it in agreement. So for me to speak it out with my mouth, it means I believe that this is God that has spoken to me. So that is my response to faith. So your first response to faith is confession. Get it? Your first response to faith is what? confession now i'll explain to you how that works i might not have time to go into that today but we'll surely go into it tomorrow but let me just study this before my time is up it is when you confess or let me put it this way there is no confession until faith has come now, many people make this mistake. They say positive confession. When they say positive confession, what are they saying? You know, you hear somebody say, oh, I cannot be sick. I refuse to be sick. Or someone says, you know, you don't have money. And then you're trying to tell somebody you don't have money. Say, oh, um, please, um, you know, I'm very rich right now. I'm very rich. Say, why don't you say things the way they are? No, no, you know, we have to, we have to confess the right thing. You are not confessing the right thing when you say those things. I'm telling you the truth. That's not what confession is. Because you see, what you are saying, you're not responding to anything. You're not speaking in agreement with anything. You say, hey, but, but the Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Now, you see, that statement, let the weak say I am strong, was a word that came from the Lord to the people. Listen, my time is up now. We're going to go into this tomorrow. I really want you to get this thing so your faith life will become 
full and you begin to produce the kind of result that you are supposed to be producing. Praise God. So we'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you. I love you so much. Praise God. Have a fruitful day. Bye-bye.